Welcome to the little tea time. Y'all ready? Welcome to the little tea time. Oh yeah. Welcome to the little tea time. Who listen? Welcome to the little tea time. All right. Welcome to the little. Welcome to the little. Welcome to the little. Welcome to the little. Welcome to the little tea time. Welcome to the little tea time. All right, all right, all right. Well, good evening, good evening, good evening. As y'all already heard the theme music, this is a little tea time with me, Jarek, the gifted one, Thomas, aka Jarius D, your favorite published author. And I would thank you guys so much for tuning in to a little tea time tonight. Um, we have a treat. For you guys, if y'all are listening at home, if y'all are watching, I have a beautiful young lady who I'm about to bring on. Her name is Mai Jones, um, a very gifted and very talented singer. So, Mai, if you are ready, I'm about to bring you in. Just stand by. Hey, Mai, if you're watching, I see Starlin's watching. Hey, Star. Hey, Mai, if you are watching, I need you to um, go to add so I can add you to the actual live. So I just need you to kind of check around on your the bottom of your your, your, your icon page. Um, it's going to be the bringing someone on camera, and I, I got to add you in, Queen Sister. My, if you're watching, if you're watching, my, if you're watching, my, I got to get you on. Okay, while I'm waiting for my to come on. And for her to accept, um, to send the link so I can accept her, I definitely would love to shout you guys out um, to everyone who is watching tonight. Okay, okay, I'm coming, trying to get it. Okay, I see you. I got your message. Um, I definitely would love for you guys to check out my next show on Oni Dynasty, 516-453-9133. And press 1 for some tea time with me, Jarek, the gifted one, Thomas. My next show will be November the 2nd. So I definitely would love for you guys to check that out. Um, to anyone who's watching gay or straight, LGBTQ or straight, if you are an artist, um, an entrepreneur, business owner, whoever you are, if you are looking for a platform to promote your your whatever it is that you do, I definitely would love for you guys to inbox me here on Facebook um, and let me know what it is that you are, you're doing, where we could promote you out to the masses um, because you doing my show helps me to help you so i definitely would love to get you guys out to the masses on the show um i am very excited about everything that is going on with these shows because people are con being consistent with one of the books so i thank everyone who has been a part of this journey with me for these online shows with facebook live with a little tea time um i really do appreciate you guys uh tonight it's my niece's birthday so i want to Sent a happy birthday to my niece, Amandra. She's 11 years old. So happy birthday to you, darling. And I will see you in a bit. I think my guest is ready to come on. I'm adding her now. So see if we can get her in. Yes, a little bit too close. Hey. Hey, honey. How's it going? Talk about that. I don't know how to do it from my computer, so I had to switch back to my phone. Okay, we're going to make it work. We're going to make, make it work. work. 
Let's make so it work. welcome. Welcome to a little tea time, Miss Jones. Yes. I'm excited. I was just telling the people, I'm yes. I was just telling the people that I met this talented singer. And now that I got you on my show, I'm excited because now I get to share you with all of my viewers and all the people around the world who are going to get to see this later. So my, 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 my. That's it. <laughs> um, I met this talented singer when we were at Cherie's um, event that she was hosting for all of the local artists. I don't want to mess it up, so I'm not going to call it out because I, I would literally mess it up. But um, heard you doing the, um, you were doing the sound rehearsal. And I literally took my bracelet off and threw it. Because I was like, this girl is a star. Um, and then when the show actually happened, I was like, ah, uh, I, was, I was gagging, I was stunned. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Look, I keep thinking. I'm trying to see which one because I work with Cherie so much. I'm trying um, to see which one. I think it's. Are you? I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the black exhibit. I remember, yeah. It seems like I've known you longer. That's why I keep saying like, which one? I know you did. <laughs> black, exhibit. black exhibit. Yes. Yes. Awesome. And I, yes. Yes. I was so um, inspired by your sound that I wanted to do that show. That final show. Yeah. We did the final show where we closed everything out, which was a really big deal. Mm -hmm. And to have you here tonight, I definitely would love for you to tell the people at home about you, where you're from, and, and just your, what got you into singing and doing music. Okay, honey. Well, here's the tea. My full name is Maisha. Well, my real name is Maisha Ellis, honey. That's my original name. <laughs> Let's yeah. start there. I am from Nagadish, Louisiana, Nat Town, born and raised in the country. Yes, that's where I'm from. I have to make sure I let the people know because that's yeah. where I'm But I'm from Nagadish, Louisiana. I moved here, me and my mom, when I was, I want to say 14 or 15. I'm 28 now. I just turned 28. Shout out to the Leos. And, um, I've always been in church. I'm a church girl. Grew up in church. Um, it runs through my, my bones, through my blood. Um, and I, the first song I ever sung was a gospel song, of course, Cooling Water. Um, like I said, I've been in church all my life. I was raised in the church. Um, every family I, I was raised in, I say every family I was raised in because I got out so many families. And mm -hmm. I was always in church. I grew up Baptist. Now I belong to New gospel, I mean, new life, full gospel, house of worship, online avenue, come get you a new life every Sunday. But yes, um, I was raised by my grandmother, um, who is no longer here, Susan Mae Matwire. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I'm just a country girl who was raised in the country, a church girl who lived alone. And I've been singing all of my life. I'll say probably since I was... Eight when I really just stuck to it. Mm -hmm. And I love to sing. Singing is just, it gets me through. So, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yes. It like, it, it gives you strength. Like, people who sing, like, it, it's, it's our strength. It's our, for me, I call it, I have to give God back the gift that he gave to me. I have to give it back. Correct. Yes. yes. And because it's something that he placed down inside of me. I'm obligated, obligated to worship him, to worship him as yeah. much as I can, whenever I can, in song. I don't care if I'm sick. Right. I got to sing. I don't feel right unless I do it. Mm -hmm. So when I heard your voice for the first time, I was like, ah, lost my mind. I was like, this girl is a star. Her voice is it. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. It was it was like I was meeting another gift. I was meeting another gift when I met it's you. That's same. You're so talented. So talented. <laughs> and right after that, we connected because you were just so easy to talk to, very yeah. friendly. So yeah. And I tell people uh, all the time, you know, singing um uh, is just I hope I'm not getting ahead of myself, you know. But mm -mm. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you for my presenting. 
but um i think um i tell people all the time when i sing i just i sing a certain way i think i mm -hmm. sing a certain way and i know i sing a certain way and everybody don't you know everybody don't take heed to that you know but i have to stick to it i have to stick to what i do authentically so um i just think that if you do you do it the way god intended for you to do it then you'll be all right that's it do you and that's what i do i just do me and i haven't always been that way i've always tried to do different stuff but when i learned to just do me and sing what i feel i think that's when i kind of just found my voice so i'm excited about all the things that i have going on and i'm ready to share honey yeah um yes. we were at your birthday show at laugh out loud Yes, yes. Shout out to Kristen. Yes, yes. Shout out to Words of Life. Uh, yes. This girl bought the house down. And it wasn't just that night. She does it all the time at Life Out Loud. But this particular night, I was actually there to, to actually see the show myself. I literally took my, bead, took, my, took my bracelet off and threw it again. It was a good show. I, the energy that, that night was really amazing and it was just good to see um people that have been following me a long time like my first job was whataburger and same life i love water i love waterburger um yeah. but uh, a lot of people know i'm clarence reese he used to always come in there all the time and hear me singing through the drive through the nicest person that's where i actually met clarence at. and when i was shouting him out i was like yeah he's been following me since buzz and he's like no he reminded me Girl, since Whataburger, and that's, you know, it's just, it makes me feel good inside that. Uh, if, I, if I don't touch two and three, I can touch one, you know? So <laughs> I'm excited um, just to share my gift with uh, with people around the world. And it, it was nice. That night was so sweet and intimate. Everybody came out. It was good. Honey, the tips was good. Honey, listen, I was like, okay, Next. maybe I can do this for a living. Maisha, maybe you can do this. So, and, you know, it was exciting. I saw my favorite song. So I was excited. Thank you for coming. You know, it was mm. nice. So I'm excited. And I'm, I'm still receiving gifts, still receiving compliments. So, you know, I'm excited. And and, and I appreciate it so very much. I ain't going to tear mm. up and cry tonight. But it was definitely. You can. We can do that. We can do all that here on this show. It was definitely a fun time. A lot of people don't know my story. Some people do, some people don't. But it was definitely a a fun time, uh, a definitely a, a experience to remember. So I'm definitely grateful for the opportunity. Okay. Um, so me and you, we actually worked on a project together. The yeah. Electra pro project oh, that yes, we did. Honey. Electra, honey. Electra, Electra. Yes, honey. It was so much fun. Honey, I'm, in, honey, I'm in, we do films, honey. I'm in a film. Yes. That was fun. Wasn't that fun? It was so much fun. So much during that. And that's, that's the thing I love about Sheree. Anytime I work with her, you're going to always, for one, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to find out. You're going to know exactly what you're doing. She's going to teach us, educate us. And that's why I love her so much. Because one thing about her, she's going to educate you before she that's asks it. you to do anything if you don't know what you're doing. So that's that it. was definitely a great event. Definitely. It was. I had a fun Shout time. out to Sheree Gray. Shout yeah. out to Sheree Gray. Uh -huh. Shout you out, sister. Uh, I, I, when I when I met Sheree, I was like in a space where I was just starting to meet artists. Mm -hmm. I had never been out in this this art scene, so when I started meeting artists, it became like a really big deal to me because I was like, I'm around people who are just like me. These are art singers, painters, musicians. Yes. Um, filmmakers. I was in a space where I, I became so engulfed in it that I was like, okay, I want to work with them all the time. Yeah, create. I want to work with them all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, shout out to um, Shana. Shana Wright. I don't know if you know Shana or not. She's actually, she doesn't live anymore. She actually lives in, I don't want to mess it up, but Georgia, she's at school now. But she's the first person who actually introduced me to like the poetry scene here or whatever mm -hmm. gave me the opportunity where I played a, a, a prostitute. The play was called Smoking Aces. I don't know if you've heard of it or not, but it was heard about amazing, it. amazing historical play. Great milestone. You have to watch it. Like, you have to see it, the, the recorded event. I got the DVD, but it's amazing. I played Tilly, and it was it was bomb. I enjoyed doing that. And then from I think from there, I think that's how I was kind of introduced to the poetry scene. I think I met um, 
Sharif through Shayna or something vice versa like that. But mm -hmm. it was amazing. Because Bun Tom's Coffee Bar was here where we did the open mic yes. on Thursday. Shout out to Mitch for that. Um, and just singing. I think that was the first place I actually uh, sung it, like on stage live. Marvin, he was like, come on, get up here and sing. And that's why I sung it. And then just built a family. So, you know, thankful for that. Like for those opportunities. And of course, can't uh leave Mama C out uh the best me productions, honey. Live, the best things. Mm -hmm. I love Sharina Alpha, honey. Shout out to Sharina Alpha for sure. Uh the best me is always uh the best way to go, honey. With the mm -hmm. best a lot of people uh have seen me there and have stopped me and say, Oh, I seen you on Best Me Productions, people I don't know. So it's always good to have good people in your life. And I, yes. I'm keeping her. I'm, she wanted them. I'm keeping in my life, keeping by the side. So yes. um, definitely thankful for her as well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So when you started the art scene and everything here, um, because I'm still practically brand new to this entire art scene here. I, I started coming out into the art scene last year. Last year. And okay. it was probably 2019 going into 2020, but it was the best time of my life to start experiencing all these people who do what we do. So much talent. So much talent. Like, I didn't realize all this talent was just lying around in Shreveport. Like, we hear, like, the, the artists who are out from our city, but then it's, like, it's a lot of underground talent that has not even been tapped in yet. Definitely, most definitely. And I just, I just said to myself, I'm just really starting to get into my prime prime here where I've built a fan base, you know, fan base family. So, man, honey, just to, just take your time. You'll get there. That's the best advice I can give anybody who in the music in industry, trying to act, trying to do anything. Take your time or whatever you're doing. Take your time and, and let it go. Let it flow. So, yeah. Okay. That's really good advice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because yeah. I'm That's still opening your thing don't rush. That's why that's the stage I that's the stage I'm in right now. Don't rush. Just let things mm. be, you know? Do what you can. Now what you can't. Just let that's it flow. It. Let it flow. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I I do my shows natural. I don't come on and we don't have anything planned. Well, I like so, that kind of you pop a question. I got things to talk about, honey. I could talk all day now. So talk day. let's talk about music since we're both singers. Let's talk about music. Let's talk about music. <laughs> Do you want me to start? Um, yeah. Um, who would you, because I know that you sang gospel and that you sang R&B. So oh, really? who would you consider to be one of your favorite gospel artists? And who would you consider to be one of your favorite R&B artists? Ooh, I have so many. But I always, when people ask me that question, I always say, new school artists, hands down, female, new school, I would say Tasha Cobbs. Um, for a male that's that's old, um, Ricky Dilla, of course, mm. unmatched. Um, R and B, Stevie Wonder, the it's off top. Um, and um, yeah, Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder, and Gerald Levert. I love Gerald Levert. Oh, oh. and Zacardi, oh. because if I was to date a man, that'd be my husband. Yeah, and he got he got. <laughs> yeah, Quan, Quan, she's in the actual um down here in the in the in the messages in the in the cool. thing. Cool. Quan. Ah! Yeah. And she she literally yeah, has the party in the knows, actual message. She already knows about the party, honey. She already know about the party. So tell her I'm coming on my stuff. Talk about him, <laughs> honey. Cause yes. One on one time with you. Ooh. Yes, I love that song. That song is still in my playlist. Yeah, honey, if you know me, you know I love Zacardi. You know I love Tasha Cobb. Those are my go-to, honey. And honey, of course, is Fantasia. Anything Fantasia, old, new, unheard of, her, that's me, honey. That's the, she's a yes. gift, baby. She is the gift, honey. So yes. yeah, one day I'm going to need her. One day. And I'm going to keep the gift. We're going to keep putting that in the atmosphere. We're going to put it in the atmosphere. the atmosphere. VIP pass. So tell them in the comments, honey. <laughs> VIP pass. Son. Yes. I want to see her, but yeah, those will be my definitely my 
Jackson. I love Stevie Wonder. I love Jerry Rover. I love music. I listen to all kind of music. I love Kelly Clarkson. I listen to all kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so when did you discover you had the gift of song? Mm, I would say I've always knew I could sing. Um, but when I just started paying attention to my voice, I would say as a, it would have to be a teenager, high school, because singing, like I said, would get me through. So that's all I could do was sing. Um, I was singing with this guy named Kenneth. Uh, shout out to Kenneth. Uh, I was singing with him all the time. He had this little studio in his house, and I think we were about 16, 17 years old, and he used to make the beats to any given thing. You should just sing, just vibe, just when singing just was easy. You didn't have to worry about what was going on or you just sing, you know, just sing the hills off. Shout out to him. But yeah, that's when I probably got into it like, girl, I like to sing. Mm -hmm. Singing is my thing. So yeah, I like to do it. But I've always sung, but when I started really paying attention to myself singing and to what I was singing, teenage years. Yes. Okay. Teenage years. Okay. Well, we know that you have the gift of song. Yes. Um, did you have anything queued up that you wanted us to listen to tonight? Or if you wanted to sing a little acapella for the people well, at the I have a song. I have a song. And I'm going to say this before I do uh, anything. Um, I, I have lots of music that I'm waiting to put out. I got gospel. I got neo soul. I got all kind of, of good, good music I'm ready to put out. But... I'm revamping my, my space at home. I'm revamping my life. I got a lot going on with work. So I was just speaking with myself, and I was just like, you don't have to rush it. You know, I have so many people inboxing me saying, girl, when you going to give us a single or a song? And so I'm thankful for that. But I'd rather put out good work, work that people are going to listen to. I don't want to give you my babies when they're uncompleted. You know, I want to make sure they're complete. They write. I'm in a good space. So y'all give me some more time, just a little bit more time before I actually put it out. I got people that um, who I'm still, I'm still doing stuff. I'm working with a lot of people. I'm supposed to be doing something with um, Jonathan, who is such an encourager. Jonathan Hall, oh my God. Y'all don't know him, get to know him. He has a gift, guys. He's incredible. So shout out to Jonathan. Um, mm -hmm. but amazing songwriter. So I'm doing some little stuff with him, which is amazing. But I'm, I'm taking my time on my things. Uh, because I want to get my space together first. I kept saying, girl, you worry about music. You need to get these pictures up on a while. Girl, you need to make sure you want this color couch in here. I want to be comfortable in my space, in my life, before I start releasing things uh, out into the atmosphere. But don't worry, I got some songs. But I am going to give y'all a little piece of this song that I'm, I know that's going to be like in the first run to be released. Um, this song is called After the Storm. It is very personal to me. I wrote this song when I was going through a little time in my life and it's a seal song for me it's like i'm sealing it so um it's called after the storm and i'm just gonna give y'all a little piece a little piece um so it goes man it says i want to feel good after the storm i want to feel good after the rain i want to feel good after the peace and time with you i want to feel good after the storm i want to feel good after the rain i want to feel good after the peace and time with you it may be too late if I say goodbye. It may be too late if I don't really try. It may be too late if I say goodbye. Cause I want to feel good after the storm I want to feel good after the rain I want to feel good after the peace And time with you So yeah, yeah. that's it That's going to be one of my songs, y'all And I'm excited about it Of course, 
tell me something good i have been had lord this song right here it's time to let it go but this tell me something good is gonna be really special i mean this, this i call this my unisex song because male female whatever honey you're gonna rock out to tell me something good slower fast so i'm thankful just to be in a space where i can write feel good doing stuff and i want to make this clear a lot of people uh see the way i am now mm -hmm. see how where i was then and then they they be like okay is she all right she ain't all right honey we are all good everything is fine sometimes you have to take your time on stuff yeah take it. your time on stuff so um it costs money to make music mm. so i want to make sure when i release all this good stuff i can do what i want to do with it I want to make sure I'm protecting it. I want to make sure it's good. So y'all just give me a little time. It may not even, it may be January 2022 sometime. But when I do release it, I got something good for y'all. So honey, stay tuned. Because I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Okay, honey. Y'all won't be disappointed. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be some good stuff. But I will say I got some good stuff coming up. I'm in some competitions. I don't know if y'all heard about the Gap Sunday. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this right now, but I'm a contestant for it. <laughs> same, uh, same. But uh, uh <laughs> but I'm a contestant. Um, well, I've already auditioned. It's like it was uh, it's called the I Am Gospel competition. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm a contestant for that. And I'm excited about that. I think it's gonna be a, an amazing experience. So, get your tickets, honey, and come and check us out. It's gonna be so many celebrity judges, so many celebrity people coming, speakers, all kind of good people, honey. That you, you're gonna have a good shout experience so come honey and worship the lord with this because i'm excited about it i'm excited about the i'm booked for four weddings i'm excited oh y'all hear that she sings at weddings oh honey i do weddings baby showers honey parades honey bachelorette parties bachelor parties honey wherever you want me to sing out i will sing honey i don't discriminate what i'm singing at now i'll discriminate i'll discriminate what i'm singing at if it's if it's all right, right? That's it. catch that part but yeah so such a beautiful gift such a beautiful spirit when i met you yeah me too. um i i was i was in awe i was like how haven't i not seen this girl how haven't i not ran into her honey when we, honey let me just say when we met honey <sighs> baby listen that was that was my year. I'm just saying that was my year. Clean up, honey. When I say clean up, honey, you catch that team. That was yes. my year. Clean look, that was my that was my year. Clean up, honey. I was passing and going. It was time to move. I was on the move when I met you. And you always had a, a good warm spirit. So I was you know, when I met you, I was like, he is really cool. He can't be from here. <laughs> Got you so from here. But yeah, you were so nice and sweet. So I'm glad we connected, honey. I, I was thinking, I was like, dang, we've only been knowing each other with what, what? A year and, and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. yeah. Seems like longer than that, you know? It feels like it. It feels yeah. like it when you meet good people. That's true. That's true. But I, I'm excited about this uh about this time in my life. My friends, my family. I saw my family members that I hadn't seen in years. So I'm just in a good space. Mm -hmm. A good time. So I want to do my music this is this is the time but it won't be until 2022 so i'm, I'm not rushing it I'm not rushing it i will be working with others doing music but my own personal music probably won't be out till 2022 but i am doing stuff so i'm doing stuff i got myself a good vocal coach and good mentor and i'm just doing music and i'm i'm not i'm not only focused on music um i'm a human service advocate i love my job mm -hmm. So I'm actually a wheel case manager. That's my title, actually. But I work at Goodwill, and I work with uh, out of school youth. So if you know anybody between the ages of 16 and 24 who is looking for their high school diploma, I need somewhere to go, safe place, honey. Send them to me. I definitely will send you my flyer, um, so we can release that information. Yes, yeah, so I'll definitely be sharing that on my Facebook page for you. Yes. So I know that I asked you to do the sh my show with me on Oni Dynasty for mm -hmm. the actual show over there, yes. and I wanted to know how would you feel about doing that show? Of course. Before, before we just come, because I didn't want to commit you to it before I and I had your 
commitment. Yeah, I'm definitely down for it. I just have to make sure I make time to mm -hmm. do um, Like I said, just let me know, send me the date, so what day we can do it. And I'm checking my calendar, and I'm just like, yes, of course I'll do it. I have no problem with it, honey. Anytime you need me to do something, anybody know that. Anytime anybody need me to do anything for them, if I can help with it, honey, I'm there. I want you to do that that particular show over there with ONE Dynasty um, because you are an LGBTQ artist. I am. I am. And ten for years, me, and over 10 years now. So for me, you will, with ONE Dynasty, we have close to 9 million people who listen. Awesome. And we broadcast to 46 countries. Mm. So for me, it's. Absolutely love that. Yes, yeah, so for me, I would love to give you that stage and give you that platform for ONE Dynasty. And I want people to get to know you just as a human being and as an uh, artist. Right, right. And I'm in a space where I have a platform where I can find LGBTQ artists and let them come on and tell their story. Mm -hmm. And I let people get to and mm -hmm. definitely let people get to know you more intimately because you never know who's listening to these shows. You never know where that next great artist might just come from. Right. And That's true. So yeah. I wanted to bring you in to do that actual show next month if you okay. were open to doing it. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I, I definitely would love to have you a part of it because it's going to be an experience uh, for you to do this show. Um, the show probably runs about maybe like about an hour or so. Okay. And we'll talk more about it. No, I don't take too much time on the past, honey. I can run my story up and, and a good synopsis for you, honey. We'll, we'll get into it. How I made it over. Just like that, honey. We, honey <laughs> I got you. I don't need an hour. Give me, good th give me 37 minutes. 37. That's all I need. Yeah. 37 minutes, honey, to tell my story. But I would love to uh, share my story. And, and Jerry, let me do this real quick, real fast. There's so much happening in this world today. We lost a, a good friend of so many people. We went to college with Alexis. So I definitely want to send my condolences out to the family and her children, her mom. She was a, a mother, a sister. So yeah, that it was such a tragedy. I don't know all the details, but I know she's gone on home, but I know she know the Lord, which is the most important part. So I just want to send my condolences out to so their and also my negative family because they lost their their beacon of their family, their father. So we'll be going home this weekend for that. So I just wanted to throw that in there, you know. Yeah, she was a good woman, good person. So yeah, it's tragic. Well, I got to go ahead to my niece's birthday party. So I definitely just wanted to thank you for taking out your time and being here tonight. To all of the people around the world who are going to get to see this later, to everyone who is viewing tonight, yes. thank you guys so much for thank tuning you. in. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Um, I love you guys as always, as always, and I want y'all to remember, like I always say, be great on purpose, not on accident. The That's future true. is now. That's true. And thank you again, Jerry, for this. Make sure you send me your shirt size so I can get you a good t-shirt. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. And I thank y'all. And I can't wait to tell y'all more to do more. Honey, live, honey. Live in love. Okay? Yes. I love it. Thank you. I love that. Thank yes. You. Thank you. So, you guys, I want to thank y'all again for tuning in to a little tea time with me, Jerry, to get the one Thomas with my guest, my Jones, a yeah. beautiful sister, beautiful talent, beautiful gift. Um, I'm signing out, you guys. Y'all have a great one. Let's continue to be great. Bye. Welcome to a little tea time. Y'all ready? Welcome to a little tea time. Thank you so much. I love this song. Who listen? All right. Everyone watching, hello. Thank y'all so much for everybody watching. Yes, thank thank y'all so, so much. much. Look, I don't know how to end it. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> yes. All right. So, darling, we are out. You have a good night. You too. I, I mean, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna be in touch. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right.